Good morning. It's Monday morning. It's a nice overcast, cool day. There's yard work out there, sorry. Always something. Um, so, hold on. I've got a podcast playing. Goodness. I guess I wasn't really listening to it because I didn't know it was on. Um, okay, so, um, what am I going to do? I'm going to show you some things that I listed over the weekend. Not too many. I did some other work over the weekend. I'll, I'll show you what I did. But, um, and then I will show you what I am shipping off this morning. Okay, so I have these four silverish, silver, mostly silver items. <laughs> this is the um, Mexican silver little, uh, I did find a couple of other examples of this, and it, it is listed as an ashtray, but um, it's such a pretty little tray. You could use it really for anything you wanted, and uh, it's by Maciel, and I listed that for $62. These prices are all free shipping. And this, I tested this. It's unfortunately not sterling silver, but I didn't really think it was going to be. I just thought I would check. I believe it's silver plated. And uh, that is a glass faux moonstone. But it's a really, it's just a different looking and really large. And I think it's probably um, very early 20th century. It does have a C clasp. Right there. You see it? Right there. And uh, that I listed for 34 And this uh, reverse carved crystal or glass pendant. Um, I do think this is a Victorian to Edwardian. Um, I thought that it was going to be gold filled over sterling, but it's actually brass. So... Um, may have paid a little too much for it but um, but it's very pretty it's got the, the carving of a rose and the the chain is sterling silver <laughs> anyway uh, that I listed for 38 and then this adorable Art Nouveau little baby brush it is sterling silver it's in really nice condition looks like it was really not used um, it's just beautiful I love this and that I listed for 44 Okay, so I sold this uh, very cool hand-painted Imari plate. Uh, it's an antique, I think, scalloped edge, made in Japan. Uh, porcelain. Really nice. Um, that sold for 65 Plus shipping, uh, going to Australia, I think. Yeah, Australia. And then I sold these two pieces to the same person. It's a Navajo sterling silver and turquoise pendant necklace. And that sold for 38 It is on a, a nice thick chain, but it's not, the chain is not silver. Um, and then this ring which was 49 another Navajo really pretty I like the design of this one it's kind of different <laughs> okay so that's it kind of a light a light shipment shipment for a uh, Monday it is Tuesday morning and I will show you what I listed yesterday and one of those items sold very quickly and that is the only sale I had, it's a little bit slow, but I think sometimes it does slow down at the end of the month, maybe, because, you know, people run out of money at the end of the month. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to show you uh, what I just told you I'd show you. Um, I listed this really sweet Edwardian style Y necklace, which uh, I believe is a retro piece from the 1960s. It has little art glass beads. I listed that for 27 and all of these prices are free shipping. Um, this is a solid copper little cuff bracelet with a Native, Native American theme. It is most likely was sold at a um, tourist shop, a uh, roadside tourist shop. May or may not have been actually made by a Native American, but it is copper. It's cute. That was priced at 21 And then 
this is what sold if I can this is something I've had for a little while it's one of Amelia's gifts I'm really trying to I have been sorting and stacking and organizing all the uh, textiles that I've gotten from my sister-in-law Amelia um, some of which you know kind of gotten forgotten so uh, trying to rectify that situation and this was a beautiful silk Chinese silk vest with this gorgeous gorgeous embroidery and this I sold for the bargain basement price of $27 it's a really pretty kind of a raw silk vest lined and everything really nice that's that's what sold right away and then the other thing ugh, excuse my mess yuck the other thing that I listed is this beautiful jewelry box with the inlay work. Um, I suspect this is pretty old, uh, at least from the early 20th century, possibly even Victorian. The only thing that lends me ooh, fingerprints. The only thing that leads me to believe it's not that old is the lining. The velvet lining doesn't look very old, but it could have been refitted. It could have been relined. And there's, you can see how that, it's got those, that joinery. That is called a splined miter joint. And, you know, it's just an indication of the overall quality and probably the age of this piece. Anyway, um, I listed this for $199. I sold a, a kind of a similar box for that same price that was a little smaller. It had a kind of a domed lid and it didn't have the flowers like this so and I sold it for that same price 199 free shipping it will it, it will the package will weigh over nine pounds it's very very heavy so uh, there will be a pretty big shipping bill associated with it but that's it for now oh and one more sale that just came in and I'm going to go ahead, since I'm just now starting to package, I'm going to go ahead and package it up. This little enamel flower pin from the 1960s um, sold for $15 plus shipping. Something I've had in the shop for quite some time. So, nice to see it going to a new home. So, this is our little neighborhood library. Kind of neighborhood. It's a bit of a walk over here. It's real cute in Spanish style. And my favorite part are the tiles. Look at these tiles. Aren't they pretty? Good morning. It is Wednesday and I'm going to show you what I got listed yesterday and then I will show you what I sold yesterday and I'm getting ready to pack up. And yeah, yesterday was a good day. Yay! So this is what I listed. Um, this is a silver, uh, actually an 830 silver, so not quite sterling by American standards, but I think some other countries consider that sterling. Uh, this happens to be from Denmark, and I was able to research the mark, and I was so pleased to figure out who made it. It was made by Thora Ovi Christensen from Denmark and uh, I let's see I think the dates that uh, that person was making jewelry was between 1907 and 1937 I tend to think this is an earlier piece just because of the C clasp uh, but anyway uh, it's fairly scarce and it sells for pretty high prices so I listed this brooch for $85 and this faux damascene bracelet. I was you know, looking at the prices of faux damascene and it doesn't sell for all that high, but I just thought this was such a beautiful piece. It's so big and chunky and everything. I priced it pretty high also. I priced it at um, $36. I probably paid a bit much for it. I think I paid $18 for it, but it's so pretty. Uh, then I listed this Alain Lace handmade needle lace table runner. It's a big long rectangular table runner 
beautiful. Look at this lace. Look at it. Oh, this, of course, came from my sister-in-law, Amelia, who really knows how to pick them. So I paid nothing for that, and I um, listed that for $75, and all of these prices are free shipping. Uh, and the last thing, oops. And the last thing I listed were these cast iron candle holders. And I listed the pair of those for uh, $55. Uh, free shipping, and they weigh an incredible amount. An incredible amount. They're so heavy. Uh, probably will be able to put those in a flat rate box, though. So, um, and that's it for my listing. And now I will show you what I'm packing up to ship. And here is what I'm packing up to ship this morning. Um, I sold this beaded envelope purse for the bargain basement price of $15. It's really nice. I don't know why it hadn't sold before now. It's, I've had it for sale for, I mean, literally years. Such a pretty little thing. And then I sold, in here is a Jacquard green and white tapestry bedspread and pillow shams. I've already um, got it packaged, so I will slip in a picture of it. That came from my sister-in-law. Oh, by the way, I have no idea what I paid for the purse because I got it such a long, long, long time ago. Um, I may have, it may have been for free. I don't know. Um, but this came from my sister-in-law, so I paid nothing and I sold it for $110. And all of this is free shipping, by the way. Uh, and this pretty spectacular cinnabar pendant, car hand carved from China. Um, you can get an idea of the age of cinnabar by the color of it. The newer, newer cinnabar will be bright red. This, as you can see, is a very almost brown, mellow color, which means it's an older piece. I don't know exactly how old. I would say early 20th century, maybe, and but that that's kind of a guess. Uh, but the really, really old cinnabar will turn almost black. Um, so that I sold for ninety dollars, and I paid uh, nine dollars for that at the flea market. And then this, you just if you're keeping up, you saw me listing this little Edwardian style art glass beaded necklace. Um, I got that at the flea market, I believe, for $5, and I sold it for $24.30, which included a discount for a coupon code. And there's information about coupon codes in the description of this video. If you're interested in claiming one for yourself, you can get 10% off. Um, and these little earrings. These are made in the USSR. USSR items are becoming quite collectible. Anytime I see something that's USSR, if I can pick it up for a good price, I do. These are some lovely little earrings that are uh, $8.75 silver, so almost sterling. The black stones, I don't know what they are, but they're probably onyx, I would guess. And those sold for $24. So sweet. And I do believe that is all for today. So here is Mr. Dirty Girl. <laughs> um, he, he, I'm sure he loves it when I call him that. He is painting fence pickets. We, you would not believe how hard it is to find fence pickets that match our fence. Uh, this is as close as we've come. We had to, or he had to, cut the little notches in it to, to match what we've got. And now we're painting them. These things rot just as fast as we can get them repaired and painted. It's amazing. But don't forget the karate. Oh yes, and when we have people who come by and like karate kick our fence and break the break the pickets, even the ones that aren't rotted. <laughs> At least we had that happen once. <laughs> Good morning. It is Thursday morning and I am going to show you what I listed yesterday and then I will show you what I am shipping off today. Here are my four items that I listed yesterday. All nice and small. How clever of me. 
And um, the first thing I have to show you is this adorable Mexican sterling silver bug brooch. Um, I got him from eBay. So I don't think I showed you this when I received the package. So you have not seen him yet. Isn't he or she adorable? Um, I have, I believe it's intended to be a ladybug, even though it has stripes instead of spots. I have seen some in this exact form that have spots. Other people have called it a spider. It does only have four legs, but we'll call that artistic license. But I just think he's adorable. Um, and I listed him for $65. He is signed by the artist, but I, the artist is unknown. Nobody knows who that code is attached to. Uh, and it probably dates from the 1980s. But just so cute. And then I listed this 10 um, advertising tea strainer for the Jones Drug Store. Uh, this probably was made in the 1920s or 30s. I did find a maker name. It's really, really faint on the back right there. I don't, you probably can't read it. Maybe you can see, though, there's something there. Um, wasn't able to find out a whole lot about the company. It came from Chicago. Uh, I wasn't able to identify where the Jones Drug Store is either even though I had an address. I was looking up that address and trying to figure it out. Um, possible there is a building that looks like it could have been, it could have housed a drugstore that's in Buffalo, New York, so that's a possibility, but um, that's just really a guess. Anyway, I listed that for 19. I have sold a nearly identical one of these that had a different, it, I think it advertised some flour, and it was made by a different company but also in Chicago so kind of interesting and then I listed this uh, hand-painted mother-of-pearl pendant um, so often when you find these the the paint is rubbed off so this one's in really really good shape and I added a chain to it and that I listed for 39 and then I listed these two button hooks together. I bought them together, and I figured I'd just list them together. Uh, on the haul video, I expressed some concern that this one might be ivory. And though it does, in fact, look like ivory, it is not. Uh, I searched and searched, and there is a, a very faint mark. Let's see, I think it's right. You, I don't think you're going to be able to see this. But it's, um, it's right there. And this is made out of um, celluloid, and the brand name is Purilin. It's a it's a um, DuPont product, and this was made probably in the 1920s, I would say. Shoe shoehorn, and then this one I think is pretty unusual because I just couldn't find any porcelain handle button hooks out there. I finally found one on worth point that sold in 2011 and it sold for hundred and thirty dollars so I just wasn't sure I decided to put this lot of button hooks on eBay at auction and I started it off at thirty seven dollars so I'm gonna see what happens there there I know there are button hook collectors and I went to several you know button hook sites and I still didn't see any I found you know silver ones and celluloid ones but I didn't find any like this. It's so pretty. So there you have it for my listings for yesterday. And here is what I am shipping off today. The first item is this intriguing wooden box with a carving on the lid of some people. And uh, did some research on this and figured out it was an Indonesian lime powder box that's used in I'm not sure what ritual or something oops anyway it's got all this neat carving on it and it's just a very cool box Let's see it's carved inside um, I got that at the flea market for I think I paid about twenty dollars for it and I sold it for 
and then this sterling silver brooch which you may have seen recently um, I paid what 15 for that and something like that and sold it for 38 and then this tiny tiny sterling silver souvenir spoon from Wyoming very cute little guy uh, I have had this for so long I don't really remember where I got it um, but you know if I see a sterling silver souvenir spoon I buy it probably got it at an estate sale or something uh, and that sold for $22 and all of those are free shipping oh and I sold um, a, a makeup compact for $149, $148, um, but it's on layaway, so I've gotten the first of three payments on it. So when I, when it's ready to ship, I'll show it to you. Good morning, it is Friday morning, and this may come as no surprise to you, but I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday, and then I'll show you what I'm packing up to ship today. It was a really uh, pretty good day yesterday. I think I had six. I think I had six sales. That's not bad. Okay, so what I listed yesterday, first off, were was a set of these beautiful handmade lace placemats. Um, these came from my sister-in-law Amelia, and I have the table runner that matches this also listed. And uh, these are listed for sixty-five. And these are all free shipping, of course. And then the second thing I listed was this um, denim jacket. Well, let's see if we can get it where you can see what it looks like, but I doubt I can. Hmm. Anyway, it is a, uh, there we go, now you can see it a little bit. It's a Levi's trucker style jacket from the 1970s. This came from a different sister-in-law. Um, who's also been cleaning out her house and just throwing truckloads of stuff at me. So, uh, that I listed for 54. It is, like, see I had to patch it right there, patch up a little hole. <laughs> so it's a little bit rough, but still very wearable. Okay, and then I listed uh, this Chrysocola and Sterling Silver Big Chunky Ring. It is signed MB, but I was not able to figure out who that was or where this ring came from at all. So it's a big mystery, but it's beautiful, beautifully made. So I love it when silver is like so smooth, you know, it's really been well worked. That's how this is. Um, that ring I listed for 52 and then this cool black and white hinged square bracelet. It's marked FAS, which stands for Fused Alloy Silver um, and 925. And FAS, or Fused Alloy Silver, it's just a different, it's just a method of making sterling silver. It's still sterling. Um, it is more modern, so this is probably from the 80s or 90s. Um, a lot of it looks like Mexican silver, but it's not marked Mexico, so I don't know what it is. It is handmade, though. Really pretty. Onyx and Mother of Pearl. And that I listed for 39 So these are the items that I'm getting ready to wrap up and ship out this morning. We have this embroidered purse from Turkey. It's quite an interesting piece. Um... That sold for 19 and all of these are free shipping. And I would have charged more for this purse, but it did have some little condition issues. It's got some little stains on it, so um, I didn't feel I could charge top dollar for it. But it is awfully pretty still, and, you know, someone with a little work can probably get those out. Um, then to that same buyer, I sold this embossed leather wallet so cute this is uh, I believe made in Mexico 
says no hunting. And it's got a squirrel and some oak leaves and a tree. And then if you turn it over on the back, it's got some deer. Really cute. And that sold for um, $24. And then I sold this lovely mid-century planter in a nice gold color. That came from my, oh, um, let's see. The purse came from my sister-in-law. This uh, wallet I got at the flea market probably paid about 4 or $5 for that. And the planter, I believe, came from my mother-in-law. And that planter sold for 29 And then um, sold this really interesting sort of a abstract mod looking enamel cigarette case and that sold for 26 plus shipping sold this absolutely gorgeous Murano Latticino paperweight with the lattice ribbons in it it's got an it's in really great condition and that I sold for 59 and then these two rings went to the same person also. This is the um, chip turquoise and coral Native American ring, sold for 33. I just listed that very recently. And then this is a sterling silver garnet, kind of an abstract geometric looking ring. The garnet's very dark, it's hard to see, but it is a garnet and that sold for 32. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. Nice overcast day. It almost looks like it's going to rain, but I don't think it is. There's no rain in the forecast. Uh, rain would be nice. I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday, which was not very much, and what I sold, and I'm getting ready to package up. So, here goes. So, I listed these uh, funky handmade sculptural sterling silver earrings. These are uh, mid-centuries, mid-century 1960s as far as I can figure um, the, the pair of these that I had that were by a known Danish modernist maker were more like from the 40s but um, I think it took a while for those modernist styles to seep into American studios and I think these are American uh, I'm not 100% sure though they are signed DR and I wasn't able to figure out who that is but anyway I listed those for 34 and uh, all of these linens I got pressed and photographed and ready to list on this jacket too but I didn't actually get around to listing them so those will be for today and I also uh, listed yesterday this sterling silver uh, this is a flat uh, oh now I've forgotten the name of the chain Anyway, it's a it's a it's a silver chain necklace, and uh, I listed that, and it sold right away. So, and that sold for uh, I think twenty nine dollars. It feels so good, it's so smooth. And here are the rest of the items that I am packing up to ship today. There are these uh, needlepoint framed needlepoint flower pictures, and those sold for. 3870 that included uh, a coupon and you too can you get a 10% off coupon by using uh, the coupon YouTube thanks when you check out with me and you get 10% off it's all one word YouTube thanks and, and I believe the purchase has to be over $25 um, okay so let's see what else we got here some oil cans uh, a lot of three vintage oil cans. Those sold for $37. Um, let's see, these, I don't remember where I got these. I think I got these at the rummage sale for like $3 a piece, but I'm not sure about that. The oil cans I got for free from my friend Caroline. She was, she was cleaning things out as she was getting ready to move. Um, these uh, Carolee cage beads gold tone necklace and uh, that sold for 19 all these prices are free shipping and um, 
I don't really remember where I got these, but I'm sure I did not pay very much for them. They might have been two or three dollars. Uh, let's see, this turquoise ring. Uh, such a gorgeous piece of turquoise, so clear. Um, and that sold for fifty-seven sixty, also with a coupon. I'm I'm really glad to see that people are using the coupons. I've had the coupon for available for a long time. And very few people had used it before, so now it's I'm starting to remember to mention it in the videos, and people are using them, so that's great. Um, I sold this see, fifty-seven sixty was the price with the coupon, and um, I don't remember what I paid, but it would have been probably about fifteen dollars. It's usually what I would expect to pay at the flea market for a ring like this, or what I like to pay. Um, this was a nice sale. This is a 14 karat gold necklace. It's, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it says golf on there. It's a little golf visor necklace. And I gave this buyer a bit of a price break. Sold it for 95 because I have had it in the shop for quite some time. Um, and then I sold a dress. It's a uh, silk Regency style dress that uh, was possibly a theatrical costume. Um, really nicely made, but recent, like 60s or 70s probably. And uh, that I sold for $105. And that was plus shipping, which was a little odd because... I thought everything in my shop over $35 should automatically be free shipping, so that was a little strange. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. And I'll show you a picture of that because I've already got it wrapped up. And I think that is everything. It was a nice day yesterday. This cake plate when I was growing up. It's um plastic. Cool. Mm, this is pretty cool. It's like a little cape. Very fancy. Mm. Hello, Annabelle. Hi, Annabelle. Hi, sweetie pie. Oh, oh, you're being shy. Aren't yeah, she's you being shy. It's, it's you're so there, pretty. Tell me again what kind it is. A bear eye cockatoo. Oh, <laughs> so neat. How long have you had her? Um, she's actually a friend's. Oh, okay. I'm just bird sitting. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, she's so cool. I used to have birds a long time ago. Oh, really? Yeah, they've all got really old and then they all died and I decided I wasn't going to get any more. Oh, I had so cockatoos. Sad. Okay. So. I'm not really too familiar with birds, but she's...